Once your DVR is connected to power and is on, click on the right mouse button to call up the menu functions and select System. Once you're in the System menu, click on the System setting icon and you will see the page on the screen. Then click on User Management on the left hand side of the page. You can create multiple user accounts up to a maximum of 20 with different privileges. The DVR has default user accounts which you can choose to copy, edit, add or delete and the default password is the number one eight times. The user settings below the user list are login, auto user log off, and password renewal. Login. Check the box to enable the user login function after logging out of the DVR. Auto user log off. Check the box to automatically log off the DVR after three minutes of inactivity. Password renewal. The password will expire after the specified days. When it's expired, a password renewal reminder will show up for you to change your password. If you don't want to renew the password periodically, just enter zero. You can further configure each user account and its settings individually. First, click on a user account. Then, click the Add, Copy, or Edit button, and the following page will appear. The fields on this screen are explained as follows. Username. Click to bring up the keyboard and input the desired username. User group. Select a user group. You can select admin, manager, or operator. Status. Select to enable or disable the user account. Password. Input the password. One to eight characters is recommended. Confirm. In this field, enter the same password again to confirm. Camera access. Click to bring up a new settings page and check the boxes to enable the live, playback, or PTZ functions of the cameras for local or remote access. User right. Check the boxes to enable the functions for the user account. This is the camera access screen. Click to bring up a new settings page and check the boxes to enable the live, playback, or PTZ functions of the cameras for local or remote access for the selected account. To log out of the currently logged in user, right click to bring up the system menu, then select Exit. You will receive a confirmation message to confirm your logout.
Thank you for watching. Remember to check out our other how-to videos through the EverFocus website or YouTube channel.